What's the matter, kid? Thought you got away? You're dead wrong. Checkmate! There's no place to hide. So what you gonna do, kid? Looks like you've improved. I'm glad. Otherwise, it'd be a boring ass job. Guess I don't have to hold back after all. I'm gonna show you how it's done. Not bad at all. I like your style. You know what? If we continue fighting and I end up killing you, then I'll be giving the old geezer exactly what he wants. And that just won't do. So get going. <laughs> I won't try and stop you this time. I thought if I kept collecting those crappy ass candles, I'd eventually hit the jackpot. But I guess plans change. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did trying to get to the bottom of all this. It'd be a shame for you to die now, so I'll give you a little help. You'll need this to move on. It's just a worthless piece of junk as far as I'm concerned. At this point, 
All I care about is what that geezer has up his sleeve. Here, take it. All right, that's that. If we both manage to stay alive, I'm sure we'll meet again. You've survived the challenge of the pistol-wielding swordsman. I'm amazed at how far you've come along. The demon inside you will continue to be your source of strength during your quest. Power. It is what all humans seek. It is built into them. Whether it is the power of light or the power of darkness, people rely on it and pray. They do so wishing for greater power. In fact, a woman you know quite well prayed to a goddess in hopes of saving the world. Let me tell you about that particular deity. Aradia. She is from a vortex world beyond the boundaries of this one. In the Amala universe, where time and space melt together and flow as one, there exist countless vortex worlds. One of these worlds is where Aradia originated. As you are already aware, this vortex world was built upon a foundation, what you may consider to be the previous world. However, in its shadow lies another world, where those considered fictitious gather. And that is the vortex world where Aradia once resided. Those who dwell there wish for one thing, for their existence to become real. To find the means, they depart into the ocean of Amala and seek out worlds that hold the power of creation. Aradia herself is a tragic savior born of dreams. She emerged in response to the cries of witches who were persecuted for their beliefs. The witches prayed to Aradia for power and freedom. They also prayed for people to be saved from the hardships of life. However, Aradia never showed herself on Earth, nor did she save anyone. She was a being who could only give hope to her believers. Humans, whom God created, created a god of their own. Anything is indeed possible within the vast ocean of Amala. Nevertheless, Aradia is still an outsider. There is little that she can do in a vortex world where her existence is forbidden. She is merely a goddess of forsaken freedom. There are many you have spoken to during your time here, including the fiends and us. You have heard the voice of the Absolute One, too. But please know this. In the everlasting flow of Amala, we have long waited for you. For a time such as this to come. The true significance of the menorahs in the labyrinth of Amala, the new demon of chaos, whom all are waiting for in anticipation, and the final moment that my master awaits. Oh. 
You must be overwhelmed by all this. But, if you can restore the menorahs to their original places and come here once again, then at that time, I will tell you the answers to all of your questions.
<laughs> Welcome to the Cathedral of Shadows, where demons gather.
your life until the very end? Well, it doesn't matter much, since your life will end here. Now, shall we indulge ourselves? In the ecstasy of death, that is! Let us savor every minute of this orgy of the damned. 